Hello, welcome to the data channel and you're watching Python Bootcamp uh, for data professional series and as part of the topic 4 uh, we will be discussing about uh, is Python a compilation language or an interpretation language. So most of the people might have this question in their mind because uh, often you hear uh, Python is compiling the code or Python, Python is running the interpretation right and uh, like as a programming language so any programming language right uh, there are two two uh, things that it actually does after writing the program that is compilation and interpretation so if it, if you are familiar with java c c++ even they do the compilations right so you might be running in the mind right what what exactly the python is doing trying to do whether it is doing a compilation or whether it is doing an interpretation so that we will explain clearly in this video and uh, we will try to clear the doubt so if you are new to this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications let's get started so first of all uh, before exactly knowing whether python is an interpreter or compiler we need to understand what exactly briefly understand what exactly the compiler and interpreter mean means right so and what is the difference and if you see compiler exactly it is a it is the internal code of the of the programming language which does the translation from high level source code of a program into a machine level before the run see because like if you are if you have worked in any uh, microprocessor level of programming right that is called as a low level very low level programming language where exactly you write the code which machine understands directly so there is no translator needed so compiler what it is working like is like a translator right so you do the uh, you ex exactly write the program in the human understandable format so but it the compiler will convert that into machine machine understandable format otherwise machine cannot run that program machine won't understand humans language right so that is why that has to there, there should be someone who does that translation so that is compiler okay and if you take the interpreter so that is also similar it is also do the similar activity but it does line by line so it like suppose if you are writing a, a program of uh, like 100 lines right so the what compiler does is it will compile the entire hundred lines and make it as a package one package right and similarly like if you take uh, so here in the compiler case it is like all the lines of code it will be dealt as a one it will be compiled as a one package and it will be given to um, uh, JVM or whatever a virtual machine which is executing that uh, so that will be executing entire code at one shot but when it comes to interpreter so this is also converts uh, the high level to machine level so that won't change but what change or what is different in interpreter is is, is does the line by line or statement by statement executing each line as soon as it is translated that means uh, suppose i am writing like 100 lines of code so it is not um, it is not translating or it is not interpreting every line at once like compiler it is doing one by line it will take first line it will uh, interpret that okay and give it for machine to execute take second line interpret that give it line give this line for uh, execution so there is a lot of difference that happens right so what's the difference is uh, like when you take a translation uh, converts the program in one go right but here the conversion will be uh, by machine languages line by line so that's a major difference okay and execution speed as yes, you can already guess right so it will be faster in terms of compiler because it is uh, it does uh, all the all the lines at one shot but uh, in case of uh, interpreter typically during execution because translation uh, happens on the fly right so there might be some lag in the interpretation because it does the uh, execution line by line okay and when it comes to error uh, detection which is better or what exactly compiler does and interpreter does right so error detection errors are detected at compile time execution begins when the execution begins right and here errors are detected at runtime because here compilation means it has to, it it takes the responsibility that the entire code is error free or syntax error free at least right so that is why it needs to detect if there is any error it is it it should detect in the in this phase like the entire uh, code it has to detect and it has to say that okay are, these are my errors and go and fix it has to throw that error during the compilation but when it comes to interpreter what happens is so 
might be there might be a error in the line 4 but still the code will execute because the first second third line doesn't have any issues so that is why the first three lines will be executed and the third line it will throw error in case of interpreter but in case of pi in case of compiler so if there is any line which is having error my entire code will not even start to execute so that's the whole difference and uh, errors detected at runtime which can uh, which can lead to finding bugs later in the development cycle so that is one of the drawback in interpretation interpreter right so here if that is the case you need to use some exceptional handling handling and other cases uh, in terms of interpreter so that we will see anyway but uh, definitely interpreter uh, there is a problem when you talk about error detection when you talk about execution speed right and uh, when it talks about output uh, it produces or uh, it produces an or final machine code for example dot exe file okay so if you are uh, worked on any java or web development right so you will you will create a double war file right or you can create a rar file okay so or it can create something like a exe file so it is a package right so once the compile the compiled code will be ready so it might be 100 line 1000 line or it might be entire project of uh, maybe 1 million line or uh, which is combined combination of like say 200 300 files so entire project will be packaged into a var file rar file or dot exe file something like that okay and uh, in case of interpreter it doesn't produce any files because it is taking line by line and it is ex executing on the fly this is very important right so this is you need to make sure that you remember this one this is on the fly there is no nothing called as the intermediate file it generates and then it it uses that file to kind of execute no nothing like that right so that is why it is on the fly so there is no output file produced here right and examples are like c c plus uh, plus rust uh, programming language right and even java for that matter is a compilation language right and what are the interpreter language it's javascript python so these are interpreter languages which does these things and if you want to know why exactly it does that like why C++ C++ or Rust and Java are compilation, why these programming languages are interpreter language because they have some certain intent of uh, uh, how they want to work, right? Because uh, JavaScript are meant to be uh, meant to be created in uh, like a, for a front end of a web application and uh, you cannot compile the entire code. So that is not JavaScript meant for and even PHP is doing the similar activities where it does some validation on the fly and it is designed to do that, right? So that is why it is all the all, always the design of the programming language decides, uh, uh, or what is the intention of that programming language decides uh, whether it should be a compiler-based language or an interpreter-based language, right? And now, so now that we know what is the compiler and what is interpreter, right? We'll just quickly jump on what exactly Python is doing, right? Whether compile Python is a compiler language or it's a, whether it's an interpreter language, what exactly Python is? Python is a blend of both. So Python is smart enough. Uh, the, the designers of Python is smart enough, smart enough to kind of uh, utilize the benefits of both, um, uh, say, interpreter and compiler, and they have bundled it in such a way that it will have the benefits of both, right? And what, when we say blend of both, what, how exactly Python is using the blend of both, right? So first is source code to bytecode, and second is bytecode interpretation. So here, when it's converting to source code to bytecode, it is using compilation. It is doing a compilation using its own compiler. And when it does the bytecode interpretation, so the after compilation, it will generate a bytecode. And if when the, during the interpretation of the bytecode, it uses the interpreter interpretation right so that's the uh, that's what python is doing as a blend of both and when uh, when you execute a python script or when a python program so it will generate uh, it, it that will be a dot py file right and uh, so, suppose like hello world dot py so you want to print a hello world and you name it as hello world dot py and that has to be translated into dot pyc that is why the comp that is what the compiler does and uh, this bytecode is a low level platform independent representation of a source code 
so this you will not even uh, it is not even human understandable format actually right and dot uh, pyc is an internal file you, you need not worry about that where it is generated why it is generated but we will see in the next slide what how exactly it looks like might look like but so once pyc file is generated which is a byte code and uh, so the byte code will be executed in a interpretation manage uh, manner interpreter ma interpretation manner manner in the sense like line by line or logic by logic so the byte code is the is then interpreted by the pvm virtual uh, like a python virtual machine so what that does is it will take dot pyc file and it start interpreting line by line or logic by logic or condition by condition to kind of execute that the pvm reads the reads and execute the byte instructions translating them into machine code right that is called just in just in time just in time means during that time on the fly what we call right for the execution by the actual hardware right so let's jump into the details of uh, and understand right so detailed workflow of uh, workflow in python how exactly this looks like so suppose as a programmer you let you write a program right so you might be writing a program of uh, like some arithmetic calculation of taking some inputs like variable a variable b and doing a sum and then outputting that in a uh, like outputting that sum to the user users back so you that you write as a program right and that you will save it as a dot py suppose you write some my prg dot py so that you will write as a program right and then it compiles to a byte code so once you execute this dot py file so what happens is uh, your compilation starts the python will start its compilation and uh, the python interpreter automatically compiles the code into a byte code before the execution this byte code is stored as dot pyc file and where it exactly located so if you have installed the python we will show it in the next practical sessions but uh, if you have installed in python so in python uh, directory wherever you have installed there will be a some underscore underscore py catch underscore underscore directory so where exactly your dot all the dot pyc file will be stored so if you go and read that file it will not be readable okay because it's a human it's a machine level language so once you have the dot uh, pyc file what exactly your pvm starts right your pvm start executing that byte code so this step involves interpreting so here it is a compilation here it is an interpretation so both we are calling it as a blend compilation plus interpretation that is why the python is a blend of both so this step involves interpreting the byte instruction and executing them on the host machine so keep this in mind this is a just in time on the fly so there is uh, it's line by line always or instruction by instructions it is not executing entire thing at once okay and that is why it is a interpreter language also so to make you understand we we have taken a one example detail example we will see right and uh, here i am creating a definition right so my definition is it's a function right and uh, the function is greet so whatever you pass here it will just uh, you need to pass any name here okay and it will return hello that name suppose i say greet alice so it should say hello alice so that is my expectation suppose if i pass greet the data channel so it has to print hello the data channel right so this is a first step where you exactly write your code and save it as a dot py file example dot py okay and then the compilation starts right so then exactly what is happening here is you need to start your execution like how do you compile your file you write a keyword called python hyphen m and uh, then you give your uh, py underscore compile where you are saying that python compile you want to do a compilation for this file and then you give the actual file so this is a syntax so here this is a keyword and py underscore is a keyword right and this is an argument and this is exactly your file name that you are passing okay and once the compilation of the byte code is completed what happens is it will generate the dot pyc file okay example dot pyc and as i mentioned it will be in this particular directory in the python uh, installed uh, wherever the python is installed in your machine right and so the same hello alice is converted like this can you read this definitely not so you are not able to understand this example.py this example.py is converted to this format 
and uh, the humans cannot understand this because it is a machine level uh, program or machine level instructions basically right and only the machines uh, machine understand this okay so that is why the human this is a human understandable format code and this has been converted to a machine understandable uh, code and that is what we call it as a compilation uh, process okay and once that's done so the final step is where ex exactly your bytecode execution will happen so from this to this who will does that your interpreter will do that do that so interpreter will exactly do the actual execution of the bytecode so bytecode will be executed by the python interpreter and you will finally see the result but uh, when you exa exactly work in a in a project or in a work in a in a normal flow right so you need not understand step 2 and step 3 okay step 2 you just run it right but step 3 you don't even care about step 3 it is happening internally so this is an internal operation okay so what you need to do is write the program and then execute that that's all so whether it is converting to byte code and then giving the result so and finally you will see this result right you need not worry about byte code how it is generating where it is generating and that will be internally take, take uh, internally will be taken care by the python okay this is just for the explanation to show you what's internally happening okay so this example i hope it was uh, useful to understand right uh, how the python is using the combination of both py, uh, compilation and interpre interpretation so and this applies for any small big or any complex project you write or complex code you write so the, the exactly same is going to happen so coming to the summary right so as we have seen uh, the python uh, how it is making use of the use of the blend of both interpreter and compiler so com it combines the compilation to convert the byte code and interpretation by the pvm provides a balance between the performance and flexibility so that is why python is uh, python using this combination it is one of the powerful tool uh, for a wide range of applications so it is able to um, uh, you get the benefit of both compilation and interpretation and uh, this kind of workflow allows uh, developers to write a clear and maintainable code um, and uh, that will definitely benefit from uh, python's ex uh, extensive ecosystem and it makes python portable also and uh, that is why the python is stand st stands out from the different programming languages uh, so because it is using the blend of both uh, and also it can be used for wide uh, range of applications and especially for the data um, data like uh, processing and uh, other scenarios uh, so python is more preferred in terms of uh, why because it is using the com power of both compilation and interpretation so it becomes more uh, performance intensive tool and uh, also giving the flexibility for the programmers uh, to do a lot of tweaks and uh, help in debugging as well right so i hope this was uh, uh, you were able to understand uh, why python is a blend of both uh, compilation and interpretation uh, so and uh, thanks for watching